Welcome to the last stand, where the warrior of light is destined to clash with chaos. An ancient citadel stands here, where Sarah passes her days. On Royal High, where she can spectate all the carnage from beginning to end. Hmm. Princess, Sarah, she's not far now. I've come all this way just to see her, or so it would seem. Is she the reason my heart's racing? No, that's not it. It's not excitement. It's not anticipation. It's dread. Something terrible is coming. My heart knows it is fated to fight. And this is where the real battle begins. Everything I've done to get here, everywhere I've traveled, it has all been to find Princess Sarah. Maybe Mog died to bring me here. Maybe he gave his life to light my path. I could end this now, all of it. I could end my journey as he ended his. But I won't. Not just to reminisce and wallow in regret. Someone awaits me at the end of this. Something great is about to begin. My heart faces forward now. It has no time to turn and look on the past. Princess Sarah, witness me! Chaos! Here it comes! Cornelia Guard! Hold the line! Stay this fiend! See the people to safety! Don't get caught up in the excitement. These fools haven't the slightest idea what they're doing. You call this excitement? The pursuit of glory. These idiots have waited for it as long as they can remember. Princess Sarah! Princess Sarah! Princess Sarah! Princess Sarah! Long live the princess! Long live the princess! Glory to Cornelia! Glory to Cornelia! Command us! We serve you, your majesty! Brave warriors, as you stand before your foe this day, know that I am with you. I will bear witness to your bravery, and your names will forever remain in my heart. <sighs> Go now and fight with honor. My warriors, my heroes! Ah! Off they go to die. And all because this is the only chance for the Nameless to make their name. Go if you wish. But know that you are not meant to die now, nor here.
The enemy comes! I remember my name! It is Severin! Long live the princess! Long live Palamecia! They didn't even scratch it. How do they hope to defeat it? Do not falter! Cast aside your pride! Eternal glory awaits! Come, we hunt chaos this day! If I had to guess, I'd say it's waiting for you. But I know you're not going to go chasing after it. Why? Because you are not just another lemming prepared to throw its life away in the name of glory. Caster! I hail from Vin Castle! Princess Sarah! Witness me! We blanks have no memory of our past. Perhaps when we die here, we are reborn with our memories elsewhere. What are you saying? Even if our memories do return, a pointless death is a pointless death! Maybe so. Live long then, friend. And if you live in glory, rather than die for it, then our deaths are not pointless. Stop. What are you doing? I... I am Laro of Eblen. May my light be cast on Princess Sarah! You didn't have to die for me, but I will live for you! at me. It thinks I'm not ready to die here. That I'm a coward. Unworthy of a death at its hands. That smell again, like rot. Kapow, kapow. <laughs> kapow, kapow, kapow. You're here at last. Kapow. Kapow, kapow. Kapow, kapow, kapow. <sighs> All the dead and wounded, my heart could not bear it. I prayed for someone to come to me. 
And here you are, the answer to my prayers. I want to ask. Yes? Why is it I have come here? Everyone says I have to see you, and you say you wish to see me. <laughs> but why? You are here to... No, I cannot say. Because the prophecy says so, is that it? No. The prophecy tells that you would bring hope to all of Palamesia. But it also tells of what comes at your journey's end. For he shall see Chaos slain by his sword, and take for his wife the princess of the realm. Huh? My heart, it was torn for so long, but if it is you, will you have me, warrior of light? Come, we must set out in search of the next rune. Will you not give your name, sir? Hmm? <sighs> your friend is rude, but the words he spoke are true. This great journey must continue. It will not serve for you to linger here. I will wait for you, however long I must and dream of the days to come that we will spend at each other's side. <sighs> Go well and be safe. Know that I will wait for you until the very end of days. Sarah welcomed me with such love and warmth. I do not think her feelings were false, but I cannot know. And what of my feelings? Already she seems so willing to trust me to swear herself to me. A strange thing. I know everyone expects great things of me. Sarah believes in me with all her heart, believes that I will become the warrior of light. That gives me courage. So long as I fight for her, I fear no enemy. But what of me? What of my hopes? Vox said that I had no light of my own. I've started to feel the same way. Maybe my hope is out there. Maybe together with Sarah, I can find it.
My journey has been one filled with question after endless question. Where am I from? Why am I here? Where am I going? As I began to ponder these things, I felt myself floating away like driftwood on the sea. And I found myself here. Palamecia. A disembodied voice told me that this was a land yearning for hope. Echo? Come on, this isn't funny. Echo? Where are you? <laughs> Unlike you to get shaken up so easily. <laughs> Let me guess. Your little fairy friend has abandoned you, hasn't she? I wouldn't call her a friend. So much as a constant thorn in my side. Then her deceptions have not blinded you. Many blanks have lost their way to spirits like her. But you, you have a special fire in your eyes. <sighs> your opinion sure swings the way the wind blows. <laughs> I thought you had given up on me. I may have said that. I called out for a warrior of light, but no one said that it had to be you in particular. I did not see in you the luster of one who can save the world. And that is why I am here, to guide you, to help you shine as brightly as you can, so that there can be no doubt that you are the warrior of light. How kind-hearted of you. Remember what I told you when we first met? You may call me Fox. I will be your guide in this place, and I do hope a most dear companion. This place is known as the Runic Highlands. History states that runes were embedded here where chaos holds no sway. But now, all that has changed. Our steps should be filled with caution. You've been here before. I know only what the Mughals have told me. I tread here for the first time. I long desired to travel the world. But Wanderlust was a luxury I could ill afford. Have you ever been out of the castle at all? I must confess, my life has been a trifle sheltered. But saying I've never left isn't accurate either. Trust me, you'll get sick of it soon enough. I'll grab their attention. Then you can see the sights. What is this? Princess, 
Princess Sarah! Princess Sarah, we have been lost ever since you embarked on your journey with no one to guide us. If we cannot gaze upon your visage, then we cannot die. We cannot live, Princess Sarah. We need the light of hope that only you can bring. We must best chaos. It is the only way to save these unfortunate souls. Come, we have dallied too long. See the pain my actions would cause. They're facing the consequences of their own choices. Oh, how heartless. Without you, we cannot live or fight. And they're thrusting responsibility for their own lives onto you. I thought the same way until recently. I kept my true feelings hidden within, but I cannot anymore. I see it clearly now. I understand the despair of not having anyone for whom to live, for whom to yearn. Serving as a beacon of hope has bestowed upon me a unique sense of clarity. Yes, I feel their pain as if it were my own. Prophecy said anything about Moogle abductions. You're watching my every move, aren't you, Vox? All the time we have spent together has shown me so much and filled me with joy. Alas, I had forgotten my purpose. You'll stay behind? Yes. And that letter from before, you wrote it to me. <laughs> You're angry at me? I don't get it. Must I say it aloud? It pains me to think that there are other Sarahs in your life who think of you. <sighs> I shall remain here, awaiting your safe return. Yeah. And so I must fight alone once more. Although comparing Fox and Sarah, I know which one I would gladly lay my life down for. I could think of worse things than seeing a smile of contentment on her face. Was this too foretold? Is this my destiny? If someone had predicted how she thinks and feels, and how I respond and act... Cruel place.
My head swam when I first awoke in Palamecia, and I could remember nothing, nothing but my own name. I could only move forward on the path laid out before me, an ancient prophecy. If I failed, I would falter and stagnate like the many blanks who came before me. Yet I succeeded, I survived, and have come all this way. And through it all, I earned Sarah's trust. But I never stopped to think about what I was doing. I blindly followed the prophecy. Yet in the end, is it a prophecy worth fulfilling? You're next on the list. This ends here and now. Interesting. You do not despair. Why would I despair? I'm too angry for that. What would you think if it were Sarah instead? If it were Sarah? Should Sarah be the one to fall instead of the Moogle, how would you react? You know nothing, do you? Wait, are you testing me again? What? 
Is anyone there? Answer me. Garland. Anyone. Vox. I know you can hear me. Where do I go from here? Sarah. How can I protect you now? No! Do not worry. She is merely unconscious. I pledge to watch over her until she awakens. Until then, you must fight. Of course, this place is fraught with peril. The Mughals and I shall make sure Sarah safely reaches the castle. You have my thanks. Away to the teleportation stone. That soggy letter can only contain drivel, as watered down as the river on which it came. And you think it's from... Sarah? Who knows? It's addressed to me. Hmm. Is it truly intended for you? Or is it just addressed to someone who bears the same name? What are you implying? That I'm a nobody? No, no. Just... Your name is one that makes Palamecia go around and around in a never-ceasing spiral. Meaning what? Ah, good to see you taking an interest. But you shall have no answers until Chaos is defeated. Look over there. Hope takes many forms in this world, but that is the one which will fill it with light. For you see, the warrior of light, he who is destined to fight against Chaos, can harness it. In other words, only the warrior of light is able to open the way. And if you are the chosen one, then you shall have the answers you seek. Yet it will not be easy. How do we get there? By pressing on. Every step you have taken since arriving in Palamecia has brought you ever closer. your filthy claws. <sighs> I could scarce bear to leave your side, so I secretly departed from Moghine and followed your tracks. I knew, within my heart of hearts, that it was right to do. And then, this vile garland... <sighs> Look, we are almost there. Princess, you are to head back to the tower and wait for us to bring good tidings. But I... We both agree that you only serve as a burden to us here. Then I have no choice. What was that light?
Stop fighting. What then? That doesn't sound half bad. <sighs> if you wish to become the warrior of light, then you must visit the world in which my master resides. Your master? Who is this master? The Elder Warrior of Light. Stop fighting. These names are so familiar to me, Vox said. This world yearns for a warrior of light. And blanks are to fulfill a prophecy to become Palamecia's hero. A blank would become the first warrior of light. However, an ancient Mughal was leading me to the home of the supposed elder warrior of light. This way. Thank you. 
Welcome. Come, follow me. Hmm. Just what is it that you want from me? <sighs> Quite into prying, aren't you? Huh? Yet it is evident enough that I am but an old man whose time in this lonely world is short. <laughs> is that supposed to intimidate me or something? I have something of import that I wish to show you. Let us talk along the way. It. it is this world's first tale. As the runes guided you once, they will do so yet again. This is my gift to he who <coughs> seeks to become the warrior of light. Why did Sid summon me? I had a pretty good idea. He could tell I'd lost heart. Everyone here would have me take up arms. Everyone. But why go through the trouble of becoming a warrior of light just to fulfill the ambitions of others? In truth, I was ready to lay down my sword when Sid sent for me. That's the law here. Alamisia, you fight, or you're forgotten. And that's just the way it is. Sid did claim this twisted world would reveal its true nature through his tale. Should I relive his memories? Will I be willing to once again walk the path of the Warrior of Light? Such a shame. May he find peace and eternal rest. Why did this happen? Why'd Mid have to die? 
He was too smart for his own good. Your brother got too close to the truth. <gasps> Are you mad? You'll get me killed too. I'll kill you myself. <clears throat> about preparations hey hey you're in pretty bad shape The wounds that Lord Chaos suffered in the last bout were more grievous than first thought. He will bow out of the final. And so, that makes you the victim. We have a winner! <laughs> What wounds? He suffered nothing! Tell him I'm coming for him! Hey! Are you now? Are you sure that's why? That's right! Don't! This isn't your fault! There's no other way. <sighs> what are you doing here? No! Stay back! I've thought this through. I have no other choice. My... Sweet Sarah, I respect your determination, but before you do something irreversible, please tell us what brought you to this precipice, as it were. Indeed, I know a little of your dilemma, but I'm afraid you've left this young man here entirely in the dark. Or shall I shed some light on matters? You pledged your hand in marriage to Lord Chaos. With all the sincerity you could muster, you pledged it. Oh, but he wanted your heart, as well as your hand. Sadly, I fear that mere words were not enough. <sighs> words are all that I had to express the truth in my heart. And yet, Lord Chaos would not believe me. Why? Why? The reason is obvious. You promise your love to Lord Chaos, but this emotion, love, <laughs> is foreign to him. Then tell me, what am I to do? 
What other choice do I have? But this. There is one bold but brilliant way to resolve this conundrum. Tell me, if you were to name the villain in this tale, who would that be? <laughs> Why not just kill him? But I... Please help us! Without water, we'll all die! We'll follow Chaos no longer! You're our only hope! If you make a stand, you can count on all of us to have your back! Oh, Chaos has stolen these people's water. And Sarah, who offered to marry him, now feels death to be her only option. We face despair at every turn. But among us here, there is one whose light can banish this shadow. And his name? I see now. Their hopes now lie with you. be with you. Forget that torturous tale. It's hardly worth the telling. Just do this old man one favor. Pick up your sword. Stand and fight. Is that too much to ask? What do you hope will come of this? I hope for hope itself. Hope for this world. Hard to fault that. Ah, at last you see the light. You know I won't be free until this is finished. Indeed.
Sid was a boy like any other. It was the trials he faced that led him to become the first warrior of light. His many battles with chaos were the spark that kindled hope in this world. Or so it seems. <sighs> and now, it's my turn. Do I follow in the old man's footsteps? Become a warrior of light and fight chaos one last time? I can't say. Sid defeated Chaos before, but it never left this place. It falls and is reborn. What's the point in fighting? Will defeating Chaos bring hope back to this world? Is that even enough? If Chaos will simply rise again... Well, then what's the point of hope?